Well, the good news that gas leak is fixed, DTE fixing it. You can see this area, Van Born and Telegraph back open now, but this whole gas leak is connected to a very bizarre story. Take a look here. Taylor police say that it all centered around a homeless man who was who made his way into a manhole. Cops kept an eye out for him, kept an eye on him, really. Once he was pulled out, they found him down there unconscious. So here's what, what happened. Investigators say just before 5.30 this afternoon, going into the early evening hours dispatch got a call from a witness who saw the man open the manhole cover at a gas station he was seen crawling down the ladder and closing the cover closing the hatch over his head cops got there they heard a loud noise coming from the hole they were able to pry the cover off that took some work but they pried the cover off and got to him that's when they noticed the strong smell of natural gas coming from that hole it was so strong in fact authorities were forced to evacuate the corner Walgreens the corner Burger King, other businesses, but some neighbors wondered why they weren't evacuated as well. Get a phone call from a relative that's in Belleville and said, Are you guys okay? And we're like, What are you talking about? He goes, There's a gas leak. Had no clue. Yeah. What goes through your mind now hearing all this? I mean, they got all the all these businesses evacuated this whole corner. It's a little concerning that we're not evacuated over here yet, especially I have a mother in law who does have a rare lung disease. So if we got to evacuate, we need to evacuate soon. Now, we did ask first responders about the process for evacuation, but it appears that they evac evacuated only the most critical areas they needed to really to deal with all of this and contain the situation. It really felt like a, a ghost town after a while with all the businesses closed and the traffic blocked on both sides of a uh, telegraph and Van Bourne, but everything open now. We're told that that homeless man was taken to the hospital for observation, and we're told that he's been spotted in this area panhandling for some time now. But the situation resolved that gas leak fixed and as you can see everything back to normal thankfully reporting live in Taylor Dave Kinchin Fox 2 News